one of the most complete new to us companies that Sam C and myself have tried and smelled, and that is Barbudo 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 products. Now, today we're going to take a look at their oils, their balms, their butters, and their mustache wax. We also have some combs and t-shirts to show you guys. Discount code, all of that information that you need in this video here. So get comfortable and enjoy the show. Company, a little bit of information about Barbudo. Well, they are out of Utah and they're owned by a guy by the name of Rich. They have a pretty awesome Instagram. Rich is an extremely nice guy. He seems very, very excited about his products and puts a ton of work into what he does. What I love to see from a lot of these companies is them going out, doing the different fairs, mainly because Sam and the family, we love to go to the craft shows and the fairs. And if we ever see beard companies there, we light up. That makes us extremely happy to see. And we always try to show them love. This is one of those companies putting in the work. Uh, a couple quick things to show you guys figured that during this one is they have some cool branding here. It sent out these uh, little combs. You guys know these ones here. Uh, lightweight, not the heaviest things in the world, but still pretty cool. And then I actually have two t-shirts shirts to show you guys. I don't have it on right now because I didn't have it and if I took my shirt off it was going to mess up my beard. But pretty sweet. I love the logo on the front here. Tell everybody you're a bearded man. But my favorite thing is the name on here running down the spine. I just think that looks tough, looks amazing. Got red and black there which is my school colors which is perfect. And then you have this one here black and white. Tough running down the spine there, extremely soft, nice shirts. So check those ones out. So that's just a little teaser, little bit of info about Barbudo. Price. I like to rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating. And I'm going to give Barbudo products, beard products, a two dollar sign price rating. Now, a one ounce bottle of beard oil, show you the little bottle here, look at all awesome amber glass there with the dropper. A one ounce is going to go for $18 on the website, which is a tad bit above average, but of course we have a discount code for you guys, DANC20, this is not an affiliate, no kickbacks, no commissions, no money for me, just savings for you guys, and that will take 20% off your order. If you do the math there, that's right around that $15 for the market average. And with this company, when you spend more than $35, it is free shipping. Now, it doesn't say on the website right away if it's U.S. or not. I would assume it's U.S. only, but you'd have to check with them or check deeper into the website. But Dancy 20 off of that $18, straight up market average, $2 sign price rating. So, we have... A lot of products in front of us right now. Yeah, a ton. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten different oils matching balms, butter, and mustache wax. Wow. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the scent today. <laughs> if you guys don't know, this is my beautiful wife, Sam C. Hello. And we have a new challenge. Our life is all about ebbs mm -hmm. and flows and figuring it out. And with baby Violet, we have now to kind of like work around her nap yeah. schedule. So before, the boys were easy. Now we just have this new wrinkle, but... We're adjusting. We're figuring it out. Violet and runs the show. She does. She is the <laughs> boss baby of the house, as they all were. So we're getting that down. Okay. So we're going to break these down. I got a little cheat sheet here. We're going to go over what Sam and myself think of how these smell. All right. all right. The first one is my absolute favorite one, the one that I have worn the most, the one I've worn first, the one I have in today, uh, all, all of the above. So this one is Sundance. Okay. Sundance. And again, it is my favorite. I've got the balm Ooh. and the butters right here. Let me show you guys a little... Little picture for you. Beautiful. Is this? Is it like a coconut? So coconut, papaya, lemongrass, and hints of cocoa or cacao. Oh. Yeah. It smells like a <clears throat> like a good like organic suntan lotion. Yeah, and you love that kind of yeah, smell. Love. So for me, I love those tropical coconut ones, and it may be the the lemongrass, the cocoa in there, but something's different. It's very, yeah. very light, very refreshing, and I keep coming back to it and back to it and back to it. It makes for a really nice time day oil and night butter for me. This one is... Ooh, that would be a good night butter. Yes, very, very calming. 
absolutely my favorite, mm -hmm. Head and Shoulders. I love this one. Super unique. I've never had an oil that has been like this. And again, I keep coming back to this. this is below, when I'm testing 10 oils <laughs> and I'm below the <clears throat> below the label on one of these, that's a lot yeah. there. So thoughts on that one? I really like it. Okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. All right, so next up we have... Hoodoo? Hoodoo? How do? How do you do? <laughs> Who said that? How do you do? Maddox or Jax? <laughs> one of them. They blur together. So this is vanilla pipe tobacco and mahogany. Reeks of rich mahogany. <laughs> I <laughs> vanilla love pipe this. tobacco and it, mahogany. You said <clears throat> pipe tobacco and I was like, ooh. But yeah. it smells like a sophisticated cologne. Yeah. So I fully get the pipe tobacco, but it is presented in a cologne way. I really, really, really okay. get it. Yeah. I don't get it. I just smell so cologne. So the initial hit of your nose is that cologne because it has that kind of that kind of bitterness to it, that little bite to it. That like, like smell, muskiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smell past the muskiness. Okay. Do you get yeah, that? Yeah, there's a, a tiny hint of tobacco. And it comes out more in beard. Uh, <clears throat> to me, it's a lot of guys are asking about pipe tobacco scents and what's a good pipe tobacco. What's it? Pipe tobacco, like, versus just regular tobacco. So, like, the way guys smoke tobacco in a pipe has its own, you know, like, the crumbled tobacco that they put in there. It has a different scent than a fresh tobacco or a sweet tobacco or even a, like, dry cigar. It's its own its own world. Yeah, usually it's my least favorite out of all of the types of tobaccos. Is it, like, the strongest? Um, I think so. I mean, the guys will be able to comment down below. They have more experience than I do with the, <laughs> yeah, the right. pipe tobacco. I've never <laughs> smoked in my life. Um, so for me, uh, it's it's okay. It's a it's a cloney like pipe tobacco. I yeah. I you like really it. really like yeah. this. They're like these two are tied. For oh, my so it's one. not even close for me. <laughs> I wore the pipe tobacco one once and. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Got the full experience in bottle. I always wear it in beard to tell, even if I don't like it. Those days are the worst. This was not a bad day. This wasn't something that I just like, ah, uh, it just was like, okay, yeah, 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 I see that. I see that. It was more. I do have to say, if you can smell the tobacco in beard, then I don't like okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like it in the bottle. Right. And you didn't comment anything negative or yeah. positive on it that day. So it wasn't like you were like, oh, and she does. Sam doesn't hold mm -hmm. back. I was laying in bed the other night. She was like, what are you wearing? And I told her, she was like, oh, it doesn't smell like that. <laughs> I said, smell like cigarettes. Yeah, and it wasn't at all. I forgot what it was, but it was like it was lavender like and yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Cedar and peppermint. So yeah. All right, next one up is Dallas. But yeah, sometimes she's like way off, and other times I'm like, it's this. She's like, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Dallas. So this is juniper, sage, and bamboo. Now on paper, this has Sam written all over it. I haven't smelled juniper in so long. This like brings me back to my childhood. Why was juniper in your childhood? I don't know. I think my mom used to have something with the smell of juniper in it. Hmm. Interesting. I knew I, someone that like lived... Like some sort of bath and body works that Did you live popular. on Juniper Way? No. I had a buddy or somebody that lived on Juniper Way. Ex-girlfriend. Oh, gonna... what is this smell? All right, let me there's, try. Okay, me there's try. something Dallas. that is bringing me back to my like yeah. childhood 90s self. So for me, it's like almost potpourri-like. Oh, what is yeah. that? It's I something love that we it. it's something we have in the house or you have. Yeah. I, I have to ask my mom. So for me this would be on the floral side, and I like floral, but it's almost a like pungent floral, a bitter floral to it. Yeah. Can so you smell floral here? Yes. It's mm, I'm I know. so it's right. on the tip we'll of the back tongue. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that one because <laughs> it, it's something. Man, it's something recent. Something recent there. But thoughts on it for a beard oil? I really like, you like it. That I one? think it's definitely a feminine smell. Yeah. I think that would be a good nighttime scent. Yeah, and I have it in butter. It absolutely is. All right, next one up is Curly. Curly. We're looking at Violet's curly hair today. So <laughs> she may have curly. This is mahogany, oak, and vanilla. Ooh, I love. Sam is digging this company so yes. far, you guys. <laughs> digging it, digging it. I front-loaded it for it. <laughs> Wanted to keep her interested, so I put it on this half. <laughs> no, I really like that. I know. It just smells like, um, if you walk into, like, a classy person's house. Yeah, yep. 
And that's, Just I think, like that mahogany and oak, scent. the furniture yeah. Yeah. and everything combined. Yeah, and it's more subtle. It's one of the most subtle ones it he is. has compared to the other three we've smelled so far. It's yeah. much on the lighter end. So, yeah, I think it's just class. Mm -hmm. It's just class yeah. in the bottle. So, good. All right, the next one up is Doc. I just went to the doc yesterday. <laughs> Physical, got my blood work. Check, check, check. All good, guys. <laughs> All good here. Bergamot, cedar, amber, and black tea. We got layers on layers on layers. To me, this smells like some sort of candy that you have okay. been eating. Okay. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. Hmm. It's some sort of sweet candy. Sweet yeah, candy. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's almost in like that sweet. Gobstoppers? Yeah, gobstoppers, uh, uh, chewy sprees, All kind of, of in that range. All of those smell the exact same to me. Yeah. I don't like that. Um, it's too sweet for me and beer. I agree. It is too sweet for me too and sweet beer. Too sweet in bottle. Yep, I only wore that one once, and again, that one that one hit me. I did not wear it as a night. Some of these, I, I tested all the oils at least once, some two, some ten, but I did not test all the butters because like oh. that one is too strong for me. I remembered. Okay, go. Okay. There used to be the scent at Bath and Body Works. It's called like Juniper something. Okay. And this in the hand wash? No, like a lotion. Okay. My mom used to buy this. Okay. In the nineties. Wow. You guys know the name. Okay. Juniper something. And that's what that it was. That is this scent. All right, comment. And I love it. Comment down below for the full oh name gosh. for a bonus sticker award of the day coming <laughs> your way. That's what I do to my students. I'm like, all right, guys. This is the big golden star ticket bonus of the day. <laughs> it's just for pure bragging rights. All right, good call. All right, next one is Pancho. 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 Worn a few like in my Pancho. life. <laughs> uh, this is Bay Rum, Cedar, and Amber. Amber is a Is amber starter. a sweet smell? It can because be. Because yes. these two had amber. And amber can be very sweet. sweet. What is uh, it again? It is Bay <laughs> Rum, Cedar, and Amber. It almost smells like bubblegum to me. Yeah, I don't think that I like amber, you yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, we've established this many times on the channel. You do not. Yes. So this is very, very, very similar to two other scents that are out there that we've actually covered. Mm -hmm. Rodeo from Beard Octane and the Rustic Bastard from Luxurious yes. Bastard. Yes. Almost I identical. I instantly smelled yes. bubblegum with those. And you did, on especially on the Rustic yes. Bastard. So if you like those and you like this company... Mm -hmm. It's almost identical. She has like bubble gum in there. I don't know how to describe. I think that's a good way of spicy bubble gum is what I say, or <laughs> sweet bubble gum. So bubble gum is sweet. Uh, true, true. <laughs> Rodeo and Rustic Bastard is the almost the exact same as Poncho. So if they were wearing a poncho, that'd be it. All right, next one is Porter. Porter. And this is hot lathering shaving cream. Okay. All over your face. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird. I am. She says that many times throughout the day. <laughs> like, many, many times. Especially in the car. I get weirder in the car. I... Because I have, like, yeah. ADD. I get, like, restrained. I'm like... And if ah! he's driving for a long time, oh, he gets sleep drunk. I get wild. It's straight up... I'm drunk. Yes. Yeah, but I can operate functionally. Yes. All right, all right, you... Um... I'm in love with this scent. Yeah. It is soapy, soapy goodness in all of its glory. Mm -hmm. I love this. This is what I want all the washes that I smell to smell like. Okay, let me smell. Let me smell. No. <laughs> I right. really like that. So this one, yeah, I wore. I this was one that I wore more than once. Yeah, it's really nice. Really, really nice. You get that shaving cream. I also get almost some of that old school bay rum in there too. That clean, that fresh. Rather than just like, because I think of shaving cream or shaving powder, I just think of talcum powder, and there's more to it than that. Okay. I think of like a soapiness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that too. So, yeah, it's really I nice. Really, really Super like that. fresh. And again, and we've said this on almost every review, I would say that this is in the realm of a barber shop, but a unique barber shop. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, a clean barber shop. People have been stepping their barber shop game. And up. people have been messaging me, man. My buddy just messaged me. It was like, I have all these barber shop scents. They smell the same. This was last week. Mm -hmm. And I said, wait for the review. And then he saw the <laughs> review. He's like, oh, well, buddy, you got to get it now, too. So sorry, man. Sorry, man. All right, next up we have The Kid. The Kid. I like all these names. Me too. too. Me too. They're they fit really well. And good. Yep, really well. Yeah, what do you think about the labeling, packaging, everything? Yeah, right? it's, I haven't even looked at it, to yeah. be honest. Manly. It is manly. Manly. It's like a cowboy. All right. The Kid. This is a seasonal winter scent, and this is balsam fir. Oh, okay. Balsam fir and lingonberry. Oh, my gosh. I get both of those. I don't know what... What the heck is I lingonberry? I 
Is it from Germany? I just smell like cranberry. Well, ling lingonberry. I said on a stream the other day, and I probably was too offensive. <laughs> I said German was the ugliest language in the world. Yeah, it is. You gotta like it's snot. Very <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lingonberry. It's probably not. It's probably it's probably grown mm. in Arizona. I actually okay. Because you would never I, think Sam would like fir, balsam fir. I have a hatred of yeah. pine mm -hmm. trees. I actually like this. And okay. I don't know if it's the berry in there. Berry is one of like my favorite scents. So this to me is another kind of potpourri, very soft, very yeah, feminine side. That's the nice feminine. thing about this company is they have everything and they really are, are getting in touch with lace. I could see you using this as a body oil. I want that as like a guest bathroom hand soap. Ooh, I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells good. It's it's light and refreshing in beard. Yeah. So if you like that spectrum, that's for you. If that's you like those very manly good, ones. A very good seasonal holiday scent that isn't yeah. in your face. Bam. Like And that's what it is. It's a seasonal winter spicy. scent. Yes, yeah. I agree. I'm so sick of the, yes, the spicy too. seasonal Stop ones. The Stop, you guys. It's been done already. Come on. <laughs> we got clove up the wazoo. All right, and that's not even medically okay. All right, Harden. Harden here. <laughs> Harden, this is an, another seasonal winter scent here. And this is cinnamon, stout, hints of chipotle. Okay. Chipotle. All right, is this the one we were just saying don't do? No, is it too it's spicy? Not. Okay, it's not. all right, all right. It's because we would have told you, we would have thrown it that. Almost critic. smells like. Is there coffee in it? it almost... Stout, stout is that kind of almost a coffee like, like beer. Yeah, yeah you know it what I'm is. talking about. Is I like it. Yeah, because I like. Coffee, it's like a rich so. dark beer. It's a stout. I would I would yeah. call that a stout beer for sure. And it's sweet. It's, it's definitely a yep. sweet scent. I don't like coffee scents right now. I haven't for a while. I don't know what's going on. Last year, loved them, obsessed yeah. with them. I bought probably four or five last year. I just don't like them right now. So yeah. for me, it's it's a no. All right, and last one is Butch. Now I thought that said something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> switch one of the vowels. Yeah. Okay, lemongrass, birch wood. You're allergic, so don't deep too, don't breathe too <laughs> yeah, deeply. Right. And ood. Again, love. Jeez. It's I, Dude, this company. Bart, you guys are crushing it. it. And you would like their, their butter's extremely light whipped butter, so it'd work for a body butter for you. Okay. Sam doesn't even have, like, girl body products anymore. <laughs> it's don't. all beard products. <laughs> it's so fresh and clean yeah. and earthy and yeah. natural. Super light, super yeah. refreshing. So, again, most of these companies are just giving you the, oh, the. Yeah. And he has that. He has pipe tobacco. He has some of those but manly it's scents. So, it's. Unique. It's classy. Yes. It's not like aggressive. And None of these are aggressive. And it's so hard to come up with classy. Like it's yeah. very rare. We do a review every week. It's very rare that you hear us say classy, especially yeah. multiple times. So just downright killing it. Now I, you yeah. probably aren't going to be able to, but for me, my favorite still is Sundance. I love that that tropical, unique scent. It's one of those ones I keep coming back to. I keep coming that's that's the test of a real good oil to me. If I want to, if I walk into the bathroom and she'll see me all the time, the boys mm -hmm. will see me all the time, I just smell things. And if I want to <laughs> smell it, man, that's a good sign for me. So He means love oils. It. He doesn't just smell things. Shirt. True. <laughs> true. 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 So do you any that you remember as the the favorites or so I many really, for you? I really really liked this hoodoo one. Okay. And I love that last one. Okay. Butch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. So killing it. Yes. Loving absolutely. It. Awesome. Well, Sam C, thank you. I think that's going to help out a lot of people with that perspective and a lot that I couldn't have picked up <laughs> on. So absolutely amazing. Thank you as always. You're welcome. Go get that little baby girl. <laughs> Feel. How do these products make my beard feel, look, what are the ingredients like? All of that information you need to know for the health and performance side of these products Killing it. Straight up killing it. The first time I put the oil in my beard after a shower, it just, mm, yeah, oh, yes, please, more. Can I get a second round? Loved it. But I had to pump the brakes a little bit, put a little caution. I've had great beard days that had nothing to do with the products before, and I never make a rash decision. That's why I don't do unboxings or first impressions, because to me, that doesn't matter. I try all of my products at least three to four weeks before a review. 
Every single one, every company I've ever covered can vouch for that. And I put it through the ringer. It held up every single time, especially that Sundance I kept talking about. I kept coming back to the oil. I kept coming back to the butter and that's not going to stop after this. I do get free days. I really enjoy those, especially at night. Not every company has a butter. So oftentimes I get to choose what butter I want. Mm, absolutely loving it. My beard feels light, feels refreshed, and looks great. Here are the carrier oils that we are working with for this company. Argan, avocado, I was going to say avocado oil, jojoba, hemp seed, rice bran, sweet almond, vitamin E. Amazing, plus the fragrances that go in there. Now let me break down their butters because this is really nice. And one thing I will say real quick is they have the same container for their balm and butter. The balm is significantly heavier than the butter. Now I've covered this recently on my weight video. This is one of two things that could be happening. The butter could, or the balm could be over two ounces of weight and that butter's right on there, or they may have some adjusting to do because of that rule. I'm not sure which one it is, but let me talk about the ingredients here for the butter. Cocoa butter, shea butter, lanolin. That's what I wanted to get to there. I'm going to do a video very soon on lanolin and I have all of the notes taken. I have all the research done. I've tried it in my beard by itself. I've tried it in my beard with different products. That video will be coming very soon. That is an animal product that they have in this ingredient. I'll kind of talk about that with my question for you guys. Uh, but the butter is very nice and light. Let me show you here. I think I got some stuff right. It is very pillowy, fresh, very light, very airy. Again, this thing feels very, very light, but man, it performs extremely well. It is like one of the most light whipped butters I've had, and my beard loves it at night. When I wake up in the morning, I can run my fingers through it really nice and easily. Now the balm, and this is what I love, this company has a light butter for nighttime nourishment. Their balm I've used once because I want to make sure that I try it for this scent here. And it is very firm, right? I would struggle to show you guys how to get this balm out of here. I would have to use a pick or really, really work my fingers into this balm. That is how strong this is. So if you're looking for a light butter and a firm balm, they're killing it. Oh, and you need a mustache wax? They got you covered here too within an extremely, extremely firm mustache wax. Some of these are going to be going to my boy Jake Rancourt, you know the handlebar mustache video. He's going to love this because it is that firm holding mustache wax. So performance, feel and beard style, absolutely crushing it and this is what I like. If I want a balm, I need my beard to style. To have a balm, you need part hold, otherwise it's a butter. And then for the butter, I want nighttime nourishment. Crushed it, you guys. Absolutely awesome feeling beard. Rebuy. Would I look to acquire any of these products again? Would I like to try something new from them in the future? And would I recommend them to you guys, my family, my friends, my neighbors? Yes, all of the above. You heard how Sam liked these scents. I don't have a choice. They are going to get picked into my rotation whether I want to or not. The good news is I want to. Give them a shot. Give them a look. Small batch. Absolutely awesome community members that are out there grinding, making it happen. I respect the heck out of companies that are going to those fairs, that are going to expos, that are getting their name out there, putting in the groundwork, reaching out on YouTube. Give them a shot, guys, especially if any of these scents sounded unique or something that you want to try. Or hey, maybe stretch your comfort zone a little bit. Get into those softer scents. See what it's like to wear that as a nighttime butter. So 100% there. Now, question to leave you guys with. Lanolin is one of their ingredients that is not vegan friendly. That was one of their frequently asked questions. Someone said, are your products vegan friendly? No, their balms and butters have lanolin. I know for sure the butter, but I believe the balm too. Have lanolin in there. Do you have an ingredient that is a no-no for you? Whether it's you're vegan, so you're not going to touch beeswax, you're not going to touch lanolin, or maybe you have a nut allergy, or maybe you just don't like one, you have a reaction to a certain ingredient here. I think this is going to be really interesting, and it's never a question that I've asked on this channel. So let me know when you're searching through beard products, is there something that says, nope, they are out because of this? Let me know. Any companies out there, check the comments. This may help you out. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Super impressive, new to us company. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I hope that you stay bearded and stay positive. And thank you for all the support, especially down in that comment section and that subscribe button.